Importance of Supply Chain Management Why is supply chain management so important? Consider a company called Walmart. Walmart is a company that built its success on superior design, planning, and operation of supply chain. They are really masters at lowering the cost and moving the product as fast as possible. And they have grown because of this from 1 billion in sales in 1980 to 400, over 400 billion in sales in 2010. While Walmart has a very cost-efficient supply chain, 7-Eleven has a very responsive supply chain. They uh, specialize in different types of sales. They have stores very close to customers, very small, uh, utilizing the space very efficiently, yet providing the products that the customers are more li most likely uh, to need. Uh, and so they have a very responsive replenishment system. They, um, uh, right? So their focus is not on the lowest cost, but much more responsiveness. Again, their uh, revenues have grown tremendously over uh, a few decades. Webvan is another example of a company that actually start, was started and uh, was very popular for a short time. The idea was to deliver groceries to your home. However, unfortunately, it didn't uh, um, succeed. Somehow it couldn't figure out how to turn inventory fast enough and make enough money. And then uh, it uh, folded in two years after uh, it, its initial success and growth. Borders is another company, a well-established company, that failed to compete with Amazon on mainly, we could say, supply chain. Uh, it was uh, when Amazon opened and started delivering books online, selling books online, um, border experience, Borders experienced a, a, a big decline in sales because it couldn't compete with Amazon. Amazon could provide books at much lo lower prices and provide much wider uh, range of books than Borders ever could in uh, brick and mortar stores. Final example here is uh, Dell. Dell is a company that sells directly to uh, customers its computers and provides uh, other services. And uh, right, uh, the success of Dell was recognizing that uh, you don't need all the distributors and retailers to sell uh, computers that customers are uh, usually knowledgeable, they can configure their computers and they value the flexibility of choosing their own configuration. And Dell can then build those uh, computers and rather than sell immediately as it is happening in the retails, right? In the retail, you go and pick up your computer. On Dell website, you have to wait a few days or even weeks uh, to, to get your delivery, but customers are willing to wait if you can provide them the configuration they choose, so some kind of customization at a reasonably low cost. So these are all companies that were greatly affected by supply chain management, either in a very positive way or in a negative way when they failed to compete successfully.